Hi guys, welcome back to more episodes of The Walking Dead. We're on to episode 14 of season 6. Um, the last two episodes were kind of from one side and then the other. The last one concentrating on Carol and Maggie with who it was of Negan's people who had took them. Not what I expected, not what they expected, especially in Carol. But it ended with her having to take, you know, she was concerned that her mortality figures have gone into double digits. Now they've just gone up almost doubled with when the rest of this uh, crew of theirs turned up and she locked them all in there and just torched them. And the guy at the end saying, I'm Negan. And Rich is like, really? Bang. <laughs> Whether there's more of them? Whether he was really Negan, or it was her, or whether it's somebody else we haven't met, or we've already killed him, I've no idea. Guess we're just going to carry on. So, we're taking care of the problem that was initially why they were taking half of the food from this uh, hilltop, or whatever it was called. <laughs> uh, so, I guess we're, we're back at where we were. I, I'm not sure. Let's go find out. This is episode 40. Why? It'll give you some choices next time. Instead of the way you handled it, you mean? Didn't even notice. Got your bike back. Yes. After the last ordeal. You got another one of those. It's people you met. Ones in the burnt forest, they took it from you. Yeah. The ones that took you and Maggie. What did they do to you? To us? They didn't do anything. <laughs> Not much, no. It's just this little gift shop in a strip mall. But if it's really an apothecary, right. they had drugs. How do you know they still got them? You don't. I wanted to check. I just wanted to help. Yeah. How much time you spent out there? Yeah. Precisely. No, no. Forget it. I can ID the meds. I'll go alone if I have to. I'll die alone. Yeah, I'm you asking will. you to make sure I don't. Maybe, maybe you're disengaging it too soon. I've been driving six since I was 15. Usually beat up trucks like this. <laughs> I mean, if she was going to attempt to try and come and do this herself, at least she was better just not doing that and at least asking. This happened fast. She ratted out, it wasn't people. What are you carrying? Come on, it's clear. What did you find? Bottles of booze. The truck ain't gonna make it past this tree. Come on, let's walk. Hold up. Looks like a straight shot if we follow the tracks. Nah, no tracks. We'll take the road. It's simple, really. As with any RPG, tabletop, electronic, or otherwise, the key to survival is allowing oneself to be shaped by the assigned environment. I'm saying I'm in the process of said stage two. <laughs> I love it. Binocular. I'm a survivor. Years from now, he'll just be a name and a long list of names. All right. Me and her are going to do this. You're going to stay back. Got it? You about ready to spill the pintos on what the hell it is we're doing here? You what do you have to fabricate something here? We're going to manufacture bullets here. Yes, he is. I've been chewing the cut on this for a few days now. Making okay. bullets from scratch. Yeah. Spent casings, but the innards are all us. And by us, I mean me. I most definitely, almost certainly think I can do that here. I mean, it's, it's a good plan. And my friend is some damn fine, genuine, outside-the-box thinking. Yeah. I agree. If you see what types of ammo would be most valuable to produce. I'm going to hit pause. So I can kill that thing behind me. <laughs> <Hit> balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we know what happened to him. <laughs> Come on, Eugene. He's going to step in. Why did you... I called dibs. You went. Stop you from dying? I had full control of the situation. No. You'd had better luck picking up a turd by its clean end. I'm going to allow you to apologize for saying that. 
Dispatching walkers is well within my skill set, so screw you for suggesting otherwise. Plain and honest, you've outlived your usefulness to me. Come again? Is that so? Don't that honest. Unfair. My services are no longer required. Are no longer required. Likewise, same goes for her. No, it never was. Holy Christ, it's totally stocked. If you set them on the counter, I can tell you which. No, we'll just take them all. It's the problem, isn't it? This world makes you feel as though you all should contribute in this way. If, if Even if it's only to just save yourself. Oh, no. You weren't ready. We're both dead. I know. Uh -huh. It's it's a real mix. This because when you see him out on a run like this, and there isn't any threat around, like like this now, for example, the world has become peaceful again. As regards nature, not a long time, but a human life, yeah. We got what we came for. Nah, ain't worth the trouble, come on. Leave it. This is how stupid shit gets out of control and just happens in a flash. See? See? I wasn't expecting that, was you? She's not out of control yet. Ladder, ladder. There we go. There we go. You've got to let them if you can and get the feeling and the adrenaline running. And yeah, that's why she's been sick because the adrenaline's took over. Let's not forget, it's not that long ago since everyone here, not our group, all the rest of them, none of them could do anything. You could have died right there, you know that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Mm. Are you hearing me? Who gives a shit? You could have died killing those saviors, both of you, but you didn't. No. For a couple of damn sodas. Nope. Just this one. Why? Do you have any clue what that was to me, what this whole thing is to me? I asked you to come with me because you're brave like my brother, and sometimes you actually make me feel safe. <laughs> I could have gone with Tara. I could have told her I loved her, but I didn't because I was afraid. Because you're strong and you're smart and so you're easy both to. really good people and if you don't wait up. Oh, for fuck's sake. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh my God, well she's dead. She's dead. Is this more of Negan's man? Got Eugene as well. You got something to say to me? You gonna clear the air? Step up on that high horse? Kicks like a bitch, but uh, I should have done it. Oh, what's that? To kill him. Seriously, I didn't catch what you said. I should have killed you. Yeah. Look, this isn't how we like to start new business arrangements. But, well, you pricks kind of set the tone, didn't you? What do you want? I'm sorry, darling. I didn't, I didn't catch your name. I'm D. Rosita, what do you want? Well, no Rosita, in the shadow is there. That's not what I want. That's what you and Daryl are going to do. And then you're going to let us take whatever and whoever we want. You want to kill someone? You start with our companion hiding over there behind the oil barrels. He's a first class a hole and he deserves it so much more than us three. Go check it out. I'm trying to work out whether that was really small or really stupid. Did he just bite bollocks? <laughs> You're gonna... You're gonna go... Oh, headshot, headshot. Can't let him go. How many's left? Five of them. Daryl, stop! Ah, let him go. Let him go. This is life. Just 
trying to survive. They can't even take a bug. Bull just grazed him. But it's a good thing we got him back when we did. Okay. The antibiotics we picked up could save him from an infection. Okay. I was not trying to kill you. No, I know. No, I was looking for a moment. You found it. Do you apologize? I apologize for questioning your skills. <laughs> you know how to buy the dick, Eugene. Dolly. With the utmost of respect. <laughs> yeah. It was just them five for most of the episode. You said I had choices. You have them too. Could be 30 years for us here. <sighs> she wanted to prove she could do it. There are times when you know to just you keep right. it zipped. I wish it didn't have to end. Not this way. Take your opportunity when you had it. It was never my intention to hurt you. Nah. But it's how it has to be. But what we have, other people want too. Mm hmm And that won't ever change. I love you all here. I do. And I'd have to kill for you. And I can't. I won't, but I can't anymore. I can't love anyone because I can't kill for anyone. I don't even know what he's thinking. That was rather ominous. Okay, guys, episode 14. Even again, you know, after the last two episodes we'd had, but it was a little bit more uh, high octane, shall we say. It looked like we was going to get a little bit of a, a calmer, gentler, slower episode. And for the majority, we did. Till that arrow just pierced the back of Denise's head. I understand where both her and Eugene were trying to come from in this episode. Trying to contribute to the society that they have. Coming to terms with the fact that the world out there is what it is and if you want to live in all of this world now you have to learn to deal with that outside the walls as learning to live with what you have inside the walls and being productive and what Eugene came up with there as regards fabricating basically a new ammunition factory brilliant idea he wasn't as much under control with the walker as Denise was like she was attempted to try to say to Rosita, you don't understand how big this was for me. This is what I had to do. I have to learn to be able to not just allow others to always put their life in, in harm's way for me. I need to be able to learn. And then whoosh, whoosh, stopped at mid fucking sentence. And Daryl should have killed them. And that's where Carol is, except Carol has done that. And she can no longer live with it. So she's gone. So she's gone. So now we've lost Denise. Um, Eugene's injured. Whether we're going to continue on with his out of the box thinking. As uh, uh, Abraham coined. With with the bullet manufacturer. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's still a possibility. Because that is kind of. Th there's two things in particular that have become monetary value now and that's ammunition and supplies as regards food you need to eat to survive you need to shoot at things to survive that's the world um i don't know what morgan was thinking there no idea this show the show continues to always just throw you a curveball even when you think there's a bit of calm coming just just for a little while especially the way in which this episode opened just showing progression of one day to the next to the next and how similar it is from, from within the walls and then <sighs> i don't know it keeps you keeps you sharp you never know when you're gonna lose someone just like our real, the real world is, you know, you have people around you, you know, friends, family, colleagues, whatever. 
And you, you can walk into work tomorrow and go, oh, you know, John, yeah, he got hit by a bus yesterday. Gone, dead. <sighs> Never see him again. It's that. But it's constant. And it's over stupid shit. Wow. Right, I'll be back with another episode because this is the first of the two for the week. I'm now going to go watch the other one. I will see you for episode 15 in the next day. So for you guys, by all means, post your comments down below. Don't forget to hit the sub for the channel if you haven't already. Uh, and all episodes are available on both YouTube and Patreon if you want to check the link in the description. See you for episode 15 next. Take care. Don't.